100 rated chess, but score bingo. Absolutely impossible. But let's try it anyway. We get a 110 from Israel. Okay after reading through the entire thing, I noticed that there is this one square that can only be done in the opening. Move for c4 8 move straight. Knight f3. I haven't memorized the entire table yet, so my biggest problem right now is that I may have to waste a lot of time looking down my phone to read text and simultaneously have to figure out which ones are suitable for doing next. Absolutely very inconvenient, maybe one day when I win the lottery ticket I can buy a second monitor. h5. Knight c3. But I never buy lottery tickets, so that may take a while. g5. Aha. I only plan to move my knight back and forth, but a free pawn is absolutely worth considering. Rook h6. Very aggressive. Knight f3. 4 down, 4 more to go. Rook k6. Knight up knight down knight up knight to the right. Ha! One square down, now we find the next goal. Since I already got this square, the most obvious idea is to look at its related squares, but after seeing this, create rook rook queen ballistic missile. I seriously have no idea what he was talking about, so I guess I'll just do the vertical line instead. Bishop g7. e4. The hardest one has to be getting an en passant. Need to prioritize that first, before it becomes absolutely impossible. F takes e4. We'll let that pawn stay there. Queen takes h5. There are two sections related to his royal couple, so setting up some initiatives should eventually bring back results. Knight g4. That blunders are very easy to see checkmate in 8, but blundering checkmates is not one of the available targets. I have to find something else. There is a swear said blundering both king and queen at the same time. Since he's already blundering king, maybe we actually has a chance. King f8. Queen f7 is checkmate in 1, but we don't need it. I'll take this knight instead. I seriously cannot see anything. Bishop d4. f4. The board only said en passant. It didn't say that I have to make the move, so I'll let my opponent do the honor instead. Who knows, maybe he really knows about the move. He doesn't. And please stop pushing pawns, we may run out of possible French moves. Rook g1. I'll start to give away both rooks. Or he can take the knight. His bishop was on g7. Then he moved it to d4 instead of taking the knight. He even pushed the c-pawn to give his bishop a solid outpost in the very center of the board. And now he takes the knight, which he could have done all the way three moves earlier. b4. If he didn't take the other rook, maybe he'll take this one instead. There he is. b takes c5. All right. Now give me a en passant. Didn't happen. That pawn is already defended by my queen, so we don't have to worry about it, and his bishop is now available to capture my remaining rook again. Absolutely very convenient. Bishop takes a6. I take his rook so he can have more reasons to take my rook. Seriously I only care about the pawn now, as long as I don't lose the pawn. A non passan will eventually happen, and maybe we can even get a triple pawns. You know what? I quit. This is physically impossible. Almost 20 moves in and we only managed to finish one square. I hate this game. Have a great day.